Ne yapalım? İşte Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or, well... The, well, the, the people who are listening. The few the that few. listen, here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I, like, they're... Yeah. How big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and, I mean, they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that, for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So... Also... Stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully the more podcast episodes you'll hear. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the Crow 405, Murder Nova, Midwest Streetcars. Like it. Comment on us. Tell us who you are. Tell us why you listen to it. Keep this going, please. There are people that are, don't want this to keep going. Yeah, there's going. people right now trying to make trying to put an end to this. They they so, don't want us on the air. And we got guys like Speed Society that want to help us keep it going. So Welcoming us. Let's do it. Rock and roll. Help everybody out. And while you're there, check it out. Their website's awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, man. We're just not really doing these like we're supposed to It anymore. feels like it's been forever since we've been in here. Because it has. It's only We're only a week out, right? Yeah, I mean a week late, you know, that's yeah. uh in some in some circles though, that's bad. That, I yeah, feel like I see right. a lot of people complaining that you don't yeah. do it every week. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, hey, we like to keep them we like to keep them on the hook. Absolutely. We don't want to give them too much at once, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh Lutz is with us today. Hello. He is here. Um, hello, hello. Jeff Lutz, infamous drag week uh winner and and participant for you know, basically one of the guys who you can blame for making Drag Week so popular. <clears throat> um, Something like that. He has the uh, twin 55 or 57 Chevys. Sorry about that. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's, 55s are better. Sorry. Yours is a Le Mans, right? Yeah, it's a fire <laughs> Le Mans. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that, right? Yeah, I mean, a, you know. <laughs> tempest. It's a Tempest. Tem- fire, there it is, fire Tempest. Thing. It's a yeah. Pontiac. Yeah. yeah. Might as well be a Cutlass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Lutz is here. He has the twin 57 Chevys. Uh, he has the Mad Max Pro Mod Street Car. Yes. Traveled a thousand miles. Went 604? Five. Six, oh, sorry. 605? Six, oh, could have said four. 251. Said I mean. 251 miles an hour. Jesus. In the quarter yeah. mile, y'all. That's, yeah, that's something uh, like cooking. That. Uh, drives the car on the street. I mean, full blown street car. Driven it a thousand miles, over a thousand miles, really. Few, few miles, not quite a thousand yet, but yeah, getting just, there. Yeah, you know, for for a pro mod, I mean, a thousand miles on the odometer might as well be like a hundred and fifty thousand on the Kia. It's a thousand on your body. That's yeah, for sure. I can only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Shoo. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing you're young. Yeah, right. And and, uh, <laughs> and spivey, you know. You're, yeah, you're you're, you're yeah. scrappy. Scrappy, um, He's wiry. I ain't never seen anybody work as hard as Lutz when it comes to race day. Uh, he does. He definitely doesn't show his age when he, he's he when can he's get up. it done real quick. Yeah, I mean, you know, and his sense of humor is young too, because yeah. yeah, he he gets all our jokes, which is weird. Nothing is sacred around this place. Not most a people, bit. Most people don't get our jokes. Wow. Well, everybody else is stupid. Well, if it see, is, see if what it, I mean? That's, if anything's sacred to you, you're not going to hang out with us long. Oh, you got to have thick skin. Right, or you're or you're going to hang out, and then you're going to leave for a little while, and then you, and then you come back, and then exactly. you leave for a little while. Exactly. Just like, I mean, you know. Yeah. You know, that's the way it works. Yep. We'll piss everybody off at one point or another. Uh, Lutz is here. We're filming season eight, eight of that show that we're not allowed to talk about that does better than that other show that's fake. And that some we don't want to yeah, talk about. That, that other show is pretty good. Uh, so uh, we're testing the cars on big tires. Chrome, oh. mod, Chrome Mod's on big tires. Sean's car's on big tires. Murder Nova's on big tires. Yeah. And if you're wondering why we sound beat up, it's because we, we are. are. Uh, as it turns out, big time. You know, we went out on the radials, the drag radials. Sean freaking explodes out of the water, four twenty eight <laughs> at one hundred and eighty ish miles an hour in the Murder Nova on the back tires. <laughs> Crow mod second race we've ever been to with the car. Second race the car's ever even been a brand new car. Yeah, it goes four oh three with a three, four oh three with a one. I mean, we're talking top 25 right yeah top 25 probably of the fastest radio cars on earth two years ago that would have qualified number one at radio versus the world you know i mean we're yep. a year ago it would have qualified two or three yeah probably. it would have been up there yeah. so and sean one of the fastest guys on 275s in the world right now um eighth fastest limited seventh seventh fastest limited drag radial 20 
two seventy five car in the world right now. Um, uh, after after what seven races, six races of limited. They've held they've held seven. six races of the limited drag radio class, and, you, and you've been to two and and didn't get to finish one of them. Yes, and you're still sitting at number seven. Yes. So that's pretty badass. That says something, right? And everybody says, "Oh, drag radios are hard," and you know, yeah, big tires, but put them damn things on a drag radio. Well, let me tell you guys. Now we know why they do drag radio. Yes. Absolutely, they failed at the because big tire. It's because, easy. Well, you can sit now, in lawn chairs. Yeah. Lot. Now it is hard on other parts of the car. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I've never bent axles or wheels, or or I've never broke axles. I've never had issues with that ever. And my other car, we had way more power in it than we do this car. We haven't even touched the power of that wicked little 455 Pontiac we have in it. But um, we haven't even touched that yet. I mean, and the old car, we'd run 50 pounds of boost. This car, we haven't even got over 42 or 43 pounds of boost yet. So we're not even anywhere near the power level we were in the other car. But still yet, I'm bending wheels and axles, and I'm tearing shit. Sean has bent the centers out of two different sets of wheels. That's crazy. Axles. You know, he's bent the axles. I mean, we have these drag radials are tough on rear end parts. Yes. They're easy on us. And I shouldn't – I mean, we should give them a little credit because being that we come from the street, one thing that we are really good at is power management. Yep. You know what I mean? We're not very good at suspension. We're not very good at chesses. No. We're chesses. not very good at like brain. No. But we are good at power management. Yeah, I mean, we can what we've done our whole lives is this is the surface in front of you. It doesn't matter if it's a road, track, doesn't matter what it is. This is the surface. Get your car down it. But the best part about it is is everybody bagged on you guys thinking, "Oh, it's a TV show. It's fake." You know, the one we're not allowed to talk about, but he went out there and showed them, "Hey, this is what's yeah up. we can run with we can run with the best in the world Absolutely. i'm not you know i'm not saying that we're going to go out there and beat Dwayne mills or anything but we can run you know well i mean i did beat beat Dwayne mills that you one did. and you're yeah. gonna yeah. try to beat you know, him every and, time he's around yeah. it was qualifying and you pedaled it until the very I did. fucking end <laughs> i did just to get that <laughs> it shoved I that pedaled, pedal through the floor <laughs> i pedaled it four times and damn near crashed the car and ran like a 420 something in testing in test in qualifying, no qualifying. or whatever just because the golden gorilla was next to me, and I knew my oh, kid yeah. was watching. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? And my kid thinks that he hung the moon. So, and, and I mean, I'm not going to lie. Dwayne's a badass fucking racer. And his car is ridiculous. Sure. But, you know, hey, if I'm going to line up next to him, I don't care if he knows I'm there or not. Y'all racing. You know what I mean? It's, if we pull up at the it's red light out in front of the shop, and he, I don't care if he knows I'm in the turn lane next to him or not, I'm racing him. That's <laughs> yep. the way it works. Yep. So, anyway, um, long story short, we fit very well on drag radios because of our power management. We know how to do that. Now we go to the big tires and now it becomes this giant game of, of walking on eggshells with that tire because the cars are overtired. You know, it's got too much tire, too much sidewall and we just, we're just dumb, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's hard to learn all the different things. All, I mean, you got, you got, you got to keep the tire round. You can't square it off. You got to get it wicked up quick. You got to spin it into, you know, spin it up to round. You got to stay on top of the tire. Don't fall off the tire. Is it shaking going up? I is mean, you, you got, you're going to, can you, you, are you spinning it into shake? Are you shaking it in a spin? Yes. Are you, you know, are yes you, and you yes. know, rounding the and tire yes. off? All, and of and yes. All yeah. the above. That's uh, what I did. You need to lower the air pressure to spin the tire a little bit. Too much air pressure, to, you know, will make it <laughs> not, you know, give it too much bite. And, Sean's yeah. car's shaking right and, now, sitting I mean, in a garage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're basically beating ourselves to death trying to learn this. And it is, man, it is freaking hard. I've been to the track three or four times now on big tires, and I haven't been faster than. You know, I mean, it's still been faster than most of these guys around here, but not like I haven't yeah. been as fast as I was on the radios. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Me so either. that shows you that there is the guys who make the big tires fast. They are extreme badasses. And uh, we <laughs> they are smart with chassis. That's for we sure. went to a test session last week and we got in the middle of a group of people that we really have no business being around. <laughs> no. So we heard there was a test session in Tulsa. Our good buddy, Bob Gardner. He mm -hmm. lets us know. Um, crazy Bob. Crazy Bob. He's a crew chief on a twin turbo uh, pro mod out of uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And him and Clint, um, they let us come up there and join, them on, join in on the test session with them. And we get up there. And, uh, of course, you know, it's 10 in the morning. We crank up the trap music on the trailer. Yeah. And we start doing our thing. 
And then we don't even realize it, but there's like full on pro top teams there next to us testing. I mean, one of them was the elite team out of Winniewood, Oklahoma. Yes. Uh, Richard Freeman and his group and with Erica Enders driving and they have an NHRA pro stock car there. They have a comp eliminator car there. They had another, I don't remember what class the other one was. I don't either. Some altered class. I mean, I don't know, but they had three pro top level Rick, uh, Rick Jones, Rick Jones cars. And Rick Jones is like, you know, the big chassis builder to the stars. You know what I mean? Like he builds full on badass stuff. And yeah, and he was there. He was yeah. there helping them. Him and his son were there. Both of them were helping, uh, and working on the chassis that they built and tuning on the chassis that built. I mean, there's semi trucks in the whole deal. And of course we got Kevin Gates blasting on the stereo and, and, uh, uh fairly you know, loud, two chains and everything, you know, and, I thought about it for a second and I got my, I got our team together and I said, Hey guys, I'm gonna let you know, like, this is what we do. If you don't want, if you don't like the way that we are, if you don't like who we are and if, if our, uh, tactics embarrass you, then I would suggest moving your pit somewhere else because, you know, this is who we are. Yes. Is it stupid? Yes. Is it ridiculous to blast trap music and dance and act like a bunch of idiots in the pits <laughs> at a top, at a top test session? Yeah, sure it is. It might be, but I don't know. this is how we got there. You know what I mean? Why would we change just because we're in the, co- the company of pro pro people? You know yeah. what I mean? Like I don't give a fuck about what they think, you know, and I don't even know who the fuck they are to be honest with you. Yep. You know what I mean? So, and half the people that do that shit at a pro level, they hate us anyway. So why the fuck do I want to impress them? So we turned the bitch up and we were, we were cranking it and we got a lot of weird looks. We had a few sh- uh, head shakes. I seen a few old guys shaking their heads at us, you know, and, uh, but today, when we got out there on the track, we did the same thing everybody else was doing. You know what I mean? We were trying to shook make our tires. shit go. Yeah. That's shook what the I did. Tires, yep. We shook the tires. Every pass. So we go up to the starting line. All those pro guys are up there and they're, what's the track like? We're fuck. We don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, we saw you shake the tires. Is it too sticky? I don't. I don't have any yeah. idea. Is that what you that's called? You think that's what it is? Yeah. You think, you think that's what my problem is? Oh. <laughs> Can we fix that? Yeah. yeah. So, so just uh, what? I mean, what do we do to fix that? Yeah. And you know, we're just being who we are, and um, it works out for us, though. You know, it uh, does. I was having an issue with my car. There's a thing about pro mods called rear steer that I really didn't know about. We're learning. We put some rear steer in the car because that's what we were told that pro mods need. And on the return road coming back, I had a weird situation with the steering wheel in the car. And we had aligned the car like we aligned cars. We drove it down the road and made sure it went straight with the steering wheel straight up and down. <laughs> well, then once you cock the rear end in the car to give it the rear steer that the Pro Mod wants so that it'll go straight down the track, it makes the steering wheel sit funny. Yeah, so it's, it's when not going to be right. So when I made a pass, I'm doing everything I can to keep the steering wheel straight because you know when a car's pulling three Gs and it's rock and roll and those big tires are flopping all over the place, you're trying to keep your bearings in the car and that yellow stripe on top of the steering wheel, it's kind of your home base. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to steer the car back towards the center, but I keep bringing the yellow stripe up because I'm like, you know, I don't want to crash. Yeah. This so, is where it needs to be. Should well, be. Well, turns yeah. out I drove right to the center line with it and almost took out some timing cones. And, uh, Sometimes you on the way back, I'm like, dude, the reason that happened is because I, the yellow stripe was up and obviously driving down the return road, if the yellow stripes up, I'm driving to the center. So, <laughs> We got an alignment problem here. So, uh, so I get the, I get the courage up and you know, I'm like, you know, I'm going to find out what this is. So, you know, Jeff, Jeff's there and he's got a pro mod. He's really good at pro mod. He's been, you know, five eighties or whatever. And he's, you know, we, at one time he was the fourth or fifth fastest turbo pro mod in the world. So, you know, the dude's got, he's won an, he's won a pro mod championship. He yeah. literally has, yeah. but does that mean that I listen to everything he says? Well, no. Hell no, I don't listen to anything anyone says. You know what I mean? I, I, I do my, I do what I do. That's, that's just what I am. So I wanted to go ask the driver of their pro car over there. If on the return road, if the steering wheel is straight or crooked, just to make sure that I'm not retarded. And, uh, so I went over there and it was Erica Enders and I, was, I said, can I ask you a question? She's like, yeah, sure. And I was like, well, on your steering wheel on the return road back, is it straight or crooked? And she was like, well, it's straight. And I was like, so on the pass, is it straight? And she was like, well, yeah, it's straight. And so then I, I make the motion with my hands of me using the steering wheel. And I'm like, so I'm making my, you know, telling her how I was trying to drive the car. And she's like, you drive with two hands. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, well, anybody drives with two hands is retarded. And I was like, what the hell? 
Yeah. When we first started this show, we all drove with one hand, and everyone on the internet cursed us and told us we were idiots, and we drove like hoodlums. You know what I mean? Like yeah. urbans. <laughs> and urbans. Because, <laughs> because we drove with one hand. What does you know? she do with her other hand? Shift. Oh, uh, she does. That's I the only reason that. she drives. But, but well, she, no, she even said, though, even, even with an automatic car, you still don't want to drive with both hands well, because you overcorrect. I never did until we put the trans brake on the steering wheel. Right. And now I let off the trans brake, and I think, I'm not real sure, but I think I put my hand right back on the wheel. Now, I sure. put my hand near, back on the wheel, but it's not firm. It's still loose. Because I if don't it's steer firm, with it. If it's firm, yeah, it's firm, I feel like I, I'll overcorrect, you know? And so she was like, well, no, that's true. You don't want to steer with the other hand. That's retarded. So I, even I was thinking, like, wonder what she does with her other hand. Yeah. yeah, I forgot uh, though. She, she can row gears, years. man. She, she bangs she's out, a hell of a driver. She bangs out five. But you years. put her, you put her in a five second car. She may have both hands on the wheel. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's the other thing. Those pro stock cars are naturally aspirated. You know what I mean? And so they're, they're super so, light. And they're super light. And they have, but they have to drive them. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, they're shifting gears and all over the place, and they leave it fucking whatever crazy RPM with a clutch, <laughs> but like fifteen thousand. So as I'm talking to her, there's this big guy standing there and he's an older gentleman and he's like he's like, Well yeah, no, the steering wheel should always be straight. And I said, Well yeah, but it was straight on the radial, but then we put the rear steering with the big tire and that made the steering wheel crooked. And he was like, Well, it doesn't matter. It should be straight. And I said, Oh, I know I know that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to get at, you know, and, and he's like, I don't care what you do to the rear and the steering wheel should stay straight. And I said, Yeah, but don't you have to correct the steering wheel once you, cause if you cock the rear end in the car, that's going to make yeah, it, it drive dog walks. And it dog walks. So you would have to correct the steering wheel to fix the dog walk. And he just wasn't really, I don't know if I wasn't explaining it. He didn't it dumb it his, down enough for him. He, oh, he couldn't shit. dumb well, it down enough yeah, is I mean, what I think the problem was. I think that he was, he was trying to tell me the way that I was saying it, but we were just saying it different ways. Different I, ways I'm not a race yeah. car but the same, same thing. Right. So I'm arguing with the guy. And I noticed that everybody around me in the elite crew, in the elite um, pits, is like looking at me like I'm crazy right now. Yeah. Like, like, why would I argue with this guy? And I mean, I don't know who this guy is. I mean, he ain't obey to me. <laughs> I mean, I just argued with Jeff Lutz, who's won a championship. Who's this guy? I don't even know if he's ever been in a pro mod. Why, why wouldn't I argue with him, too? Yeah. He's, you know? he's built a few. I argue with my best friends. I would argue, I argue with this guy, too, until he tells me what I need to hear, you know, so to fix it. And so he keeps, he goes on and on and on. And finally, I was like, look, man. I'm sure you probably do this a lot, but, but I don't care what planet you're on. If you cock the rear end in the car, you're going to have to fix the steering wheel. Hey. And then that's when he said, go pull the tires off your car and I'm going to come over there and measure it. I bet you got more than eight, the rear steer. And I was like, you want, oh, really, really? So now we're doing this, huh? So I'm thinking to myself, why would I let this guy anywhere near my car? You know what I mean? I don't know this guy. So, but then I'm determined because then I'm like, I know we got it eighth inch. I, we put it there. I know it's right. So let's, let's go check this dude. Come on. You come. I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah. And we start going over there and, uh, he brings the, that lumpy guy with him that's from their crew too. And, um, uh, they were super who, nice. He brings the, the biggest set yeah. of calipers yeah, we I've use, ever seen in my life. We use a life. tape measure to Those measure. Those calipers were bad. This guy wow. uses a set of actual calipers that are three foot long. So yes, he, uh, they're standing there. And I'm pulling the wheels off the car and McDougal and Monkey's like, why are we doing this for these guys? What's the point? I said, I don't know. They don't believe us that we only got an eighth inch rear I'm trying to figure out why the steering wheel is crooked. And, uh, I think that we need to adjust the front alignment now that we've cocked the rear steer in the car. And this guy's saying that it doesn't matter. And I think it does. And, um, as we're doing it, Jeff Lutz kind of gives me the, give him the look kind of give me the look and then he kind of give me the Cause, elbow cause you knew who he was absolutely oh okay turns yeah. out the, the the gentleman that i'm arguing with is is rj rick yeah. jones rick jones who builds the yeah, pro stock from, from rj race car <laughs> from rj yeah. race cars. he's yes. the owner operator yes. i mean he's yeah. the he's the man he's probably done this a little bit he's he, built a few pro mods the dude yeah. there he's getting paid top dollars to help nhra pro stock teams who are looking for a thousandth of a second and a quarter of a mile and I just stood over there and argued with him <laughs> as a dumbass street racer with my janky ass half of half of a pro mod. And then I, I had the fucking nerve to tell him, look, buddy, I'm sure you do this a lot. <laughs> like that was the, I mean, just, oh my God. That was Everybody else is running, getting him coffee and make yeah, sure he has yeah. a seat. Here's chief. Yeah. The fuck do you know about a race yeah. car? Yeah, you know? I'm sure you do this a lot. But I mean, you don't know yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like a guy like him should have a shirt on that says "I'm the man." Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, yeah. You, you, with an arrow, you know? or he should be like, 
barricaded in the trailer somewhere. He shouldn't just be standing out there in the pit, you know, because then it then it's awkward because I think he's just like one of the rest of the guys standing around. I mean, hell, there was one guy standing in our pit all day trying to give us chili, you know, like yeah. How about uh, that guy? Like, what the oh fuck? Oh my god! You know, so, so he I'm just to. assuming that he's a nobody, you know, and so then he's talking. And Jeff tells me who he is, and I'm like, oh my god, like, <laughs> oh my god. So then, so then I start really freaking out, and getting nervous, because now I got Rick Jones. RJ race cars. Yeah, like and climbing his underneath son, your car. He's underneath my car checking the suspension. And now all of a sudden I start to get embarrassed of all the little shit we've done under that car. And I'm starting to think to myself, like, oh man, if he didn't if he didn't think I was an idiot a minute ago, he really gonna think I'm an idiot now. And so uh Erica comes over and she's standing there looking at the car and and she's kind of nitpicking the car. You know what I mean? She's kind of picking out things on the car that she don't like, which you know, I'm sure there's plenty of them. She's a pro, you know what I mean? And uh I was like, um, I was like, I, I'm kind of embarrassed. I didn't know that that was RJ, like the RJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she just starts laughing. She's like, well, we were wondering what you were, why you were arguing with him. <laughs> and then, but after it was all said and done, he goes, he goes, I think I know what you're trying to say. And yes, once you get this done, once you put rear steering in the car, once you set the alignment up, you are going to have to roll it either down the return road or roll it back 20 or 30 feet and make sure the steering wheel is straight. If it's not straight, correct it. And I was like, I was like, holy fuck, like that's exact that's all I needed you to say. Yeah. We just couldn't figure out a way to communicate with each other. And then from that moment on though, that dude was the coolest. Yep. He's he a was great so guy. cool to me the whole time. I mean, he made me feel awesome. I was having a terrible day anyway, but we burnt the, you know, bottom end out of the motor again. We still can't figure out our oiling problem there, but he was so cool that he was teaching me things about racing these cars these pro level cars on a big tire and he took me in their trailer and like showed me their clutches i mean he was like you know i mean not, i hope i don't get him in trouble here but i mean like he he went out of his way to make me to help me learn this shit and to make me feel like i'm not like i'm not an idiot you know even though i'm clearly an idiot and uh we're on the starting line up there and he goes up there to make a hit and i'm watching them make a hit and i said you mind if i come up there and watch you guys go he's like yeah come on well he goes up there and when i'm on the starting line i can't help myself i'm just an idiot that's who I am. It's what, I mean, the starting line to me is the place to act like an idiot. So they make a hit and it shakes the tires and goes sideways. And, uh, I can't help myself. It's just a instant reaction. <laughs> as soon as he turns around, I could tell he's pissed off, but it didn't matter to me. I went, what'd you do that for? <laughs> Chief you know thinking, I mean? fuck, we do that all yeah. the time. Yeah. I was like, what'd you do that for? I thought you were, you know what I mean? And then he's like, starts telling me about it. And I'm like, Hey man, I'm sure I know you got to go. And his son's like, we need to go over there and change this, this and this and get it back up here. And, and I was like, I'm sorry, man. I know you got to go. I'm not trying to take you. I was just, I don't know why I said that. I'm just an idiot. I'm just a smart yeah. ass. That's who we are. It's windy out here. And so, yeah, sorry, man. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. It's just windy. <laughs> it's windy. You know, <laughs> it's got me all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> well, he tells his son, hang on a second. And then he stood there and talked to me, like with his little scooter running. Like he's ready. He's supposed to be leaving right now. And he's supposed to be pissed because what he just did didn't work. And he's getting paid damn good money to do this. But yet he stood there and talked to me about four links and chire shake and shit like that. And he helped me understand so much that I was like, I was like, man, I was like, I can't thank you enough for being this cool. Most of the people that are in your position in drag racing don't like us or what we're about. And, and I understand that we look like idiots and we wear our socks up to our knees and we have bandanas hanging out of our pockets and our ra our stereos on our trailers are, are blasting. I like bad bitches. That's my fucking problem. And you guys probably aren't used to that, but that's just who we are. You know, and he said, he told me, he goes, I don't care who you are. If, if when I talk, if you're standing there agreeing with everything I say and, and the things that are coming out of your mouth are, yeah, I know that's what I told him. Yeah, no, that would never work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he said, then I already feel like you have a block. You already know everything. I can't teach you anything. So I'm not going to yeah. talk to you anymore. He said, but when I look at you and you literally say, I don't have any fucking idea what I'm talking about. He said, then I feel like you want to learn and you're trying to learn. You're here to learn things. You're not here to show anyone here. What's yeah, what up? You know, yeah, you're not here to show anybody what's up. I'm not there to light the scoreboards on fire. I'm there to learn. That's why I'm testing. You know what I mean? And he was, he's like, man, he said, it, it makes me feel good that I'm in this sport and there are still new people here that want to learn. He's like, that's what makes me feel good. And I was like, wow, dude, that's crazy. This guy's freaking awesome. Well, then I spend a little time over there in their pit and, um, I'm talking with Erica about her reaction times because I've always been fascinated with how fast she gets off the tree. I mean, this girl 
every national event, 005, 004, yeah. 008, and no one else can touch her on the tree. And every time she goes up there, the guy next to her is trying as hard as he can yeah. to leave with her, and he still can't react. He's usually her. red lighting. Right. And so I'm, I'm looking at her, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, you congratulations on being able to do that. And I said, that's just amazing. I don't know if that's a God given talent or if it comes natural to you or what. And she said, she said, no, she says, I've had to work so hard to be better, a better driver because I'm a woman that it, it plagues me. So instantly I have to be a better driver than everybody else because I'm a woman because everyone's going to say, you know, she's a girl. You know what I mean? And so she said, I had to be a better driver. So she said, I went through every step you can think of. She said, I shortened up levers in the car. I made extra holes in things to adjust stuff to where I could leave faster. She said, I, I have went through, and I'm not going to tell all the secrets that she was telling me about how she gets off the line faster, but she went through a lot and a lot of practice. And she said, every lap, no matter what she does, every lap, she does the same routine every time. And every lap to her, even though they're trying things on the car, it's all racing yeah yeah and she was so passionate about it and she was so serious about it that it really helped because like i meet so many professional drivers nowadays because this fucking tv show and we get to be in the presence of greatness all the time and when you talk to them they're mostly just so burnt out and they're so against it and all they want to talk about is other things yeah right. they don't want to talk and she was so serious about driving that it's really cool to know that even the best of the best still love every lap. You know what I mean? They still go up there with the same burn and the same drive to be great every lap. And so, man, sometimes it's like, cause sometimes in this sport, man, if you've shaken the tires every pass, you haven't made a clean hit in three days or whatever. It's like, man, it that's gets me. to you and you start thinking, why am I doing this? Yeah. That's you know me, I mean? man. That's, that's where I'm at. Am right I now. too stupid to do this? Like, why am I still fucking with this shit? You know, because I could save a lot of money and, and have a lot of, fun if i didn't have this fucking car you know but <laughs> but then when you see people like her that have made i mean how many passes do you think she's gotten in, in a oh, car Oh god i mean look how many passes she made the other day I mean, yeah no you shit. Know, they they wear their shit out and back to her cutting a light that's with her foot too that's just amazing you know to cut a light like that oh yeah she doesn't have leg, a button that's no. crazy she doesn't have a button that she lets off and of. she's rowing five gears too she has that's a clutch and she shifts the car so it was it was just really cool to hear uh how she how serious she was and the whole time that she was talking and, and being and around the pit like she was never she never talked about anything but racing you know what i mean yeah. like there was she nothing, lives it that's i'm telling you man it was uh it was really cool because you know most of these most of them aren't like that i mean i'm not like that i mean you hang around with me at the track we're gonna talk about all kinds of cool shit yeah you know yeah. <laughs> like, my mind is scattered all over the place, you know. You're a so mess. I'm a, I'm that, a fucking that mess. That second day that, that you weren't there, RJ came over, and, and I didn't know that it was him. You know, I missed the whole conversation with you and him. I think we <laughs> oh, were, it was epic. We were changing waste gates or something on the car. Well, yep. anyways, he comes over, and he's like, hey, how y'all doing? I go, not where the fuck, man, you know? <laughs> and uh, he goes, yeah? And I go, yeah, I'm too stupid to figure this fucking deal out, I guess. I said... <laughs> I said, I, we went pretty fast on the small tires. And he's like, yeah, I saw that, you know. He said, y'all did really well, you know. And and uh, about halfway through the conversation, I go, what's your name? And he goes, <laughs> oh, I'm Rick. And then I just sat there and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and, I, and, and I remember, what the, you know, the story that you had told me. And I was like, man, nice to meet you, man. I said, yeah. as, in, as in RJ, right? And he goes, yeah. And I said, hey, man, nice to meet you. You know, I said, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with the car. All we've done the past three days is shake the tires, you know, and. And he started talking to me a little bit about it, you know, yeah. and uh, it's just cool. You know, yeah, I mean, he's yeah. a great guy. I've yeah. known him for a long time. Yeah, He came over there for about five minutes and gave us $10,000 worth of advice, you yeah. know, and, and he started asking me what my corner weights were on the car. And that's the whole reason that I did what I did this week is, is he was like, what's the corner weights? And I go, well, I'm, I'm one ten light over here on the passenger side. And he said, holy shit. And then he just sat there and I go, what? I, it was like he wasn't going to say anything else. You know? He looked it was at like, the he car. He was just like, holy shit, which I told him, you know, don't, you know, don't get too close to that car unless you got your tetanus shots, you know, and yeah, no I definitely joke. didn't want him underneath my car. Oh, my God. You know, so, yeah. I mean, if they were picking on your car, out. yeah, if they were picking on your car, then he probably would have said, look, man, you need to take the turbos off this thing. This car should not be going as fast as what it's going, you know, but 
Instead, he told me he was like, "Look, one ten. That's that's outrageous." That's a he lot. said, "I have never heard of anybody being one ten. He goes, "How much negative do you have cranked into that to get it to one ten?" And I go, "None. It's neutral." You know, and then it blew his mind. He couldn't believe it. He was like, "Why the hell <laughs> is that car? Why are the corner weights so bad on that car at neutral?" And I was like, "Well, I'm on the driver's side, you know, and I'm weighing, you know, two eighty. The the water box is on the driver's side. It's eighty eighty pounds. Easy, yeah. You know, he was like, "Why don't you spread some of that weight out?" And I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, he, and then he started telling me what they get their cars. And he's like, so <laughs> as soon as we get back here, I just start ripping everything out of the car. And, and luckily, Jeff was here. And, oh, you know, my God. He helped me weld. Sunday and, uh, night, he had that car ripped apart. Hey, yeah. that's what I like I about Sean. I was going to do it, man. Yep. You know, oh, I mean, you it, did it. It didn't matter. I didn't know that you – I didn't even think about you coming back. I yep. was just going to do it, and, you know, it had worked itself out. So I cut the water box out of the trunk. I cut the battery box out of the trunk. I took all the tin work out of the trunk. And I was going to swap sides with everything, and, you know, and try to s straighten out the corner weights a little bit. So I think it turned out good. Yeah, luckily, you showed up, <laughs> you know, that night after I had everything ripped in pieces. And, uh, you know, hopefully the car's going to be a little happier now. Yeah, that way. <sighs> it couldn't hurt. I, I mean, mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, at this, this point, is I don't think problem. anything could hurt that car. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I, I'm. I, we're, yeah. I, we're actually actively looking for uh, a shaman. <laughs> or uh, or some sort of witch doctor Somebody to come, to come in bless and this car yeah, or like, something like a live bat. You know, Suffer evil. Get, you know, we'll yeah. sacrifice a Maybe live. Maybe we should bat sacrifice here. a live chicken. I mean, you we know, need to do. We, we need to do something. Like it doesn't matter at this point. Any suggestion is is warranted. No, I'm open for you know I mean? anything. I mean, right we'll now. do fucking anything. Because I have, you know? like on Tin Cup when he said when, <laughs> when he says uh, he says take your change out of your left pocket. You know, yeah, he yeah. Says, Turn your hat around, you know, put your yeah. hat on sideways. And, and, you know, when he did all that, untie your left shoe. You well, know, and it, he's like, now you look like an idiot. But in that, <laughs> like you, I, yeah. I look like an idiot now. You yeah. know, I mean, I'm out there at this pro test session, you know, and I'm out there. I can't make it 40 feet. Yeah. You know, so. But, I mean. And I'm pedaling the fucking car like an idiot, you know. And yeah, that's It's what all you over do. the fucking place. And. Yeah, I heard that four or five times. There's, I was like, God damn, man. You could pedal that thing. I was well, like, well, he's, he's Sean. I do it Sean, every pass. When you shake it enough, I do yeah. it every pass. That, and we'll get it figured. That's out. the way. And Sean on the street for the last three or four years has had to pedal every hit. So every he's hit. gotten good at. He knows that if he pedals it too much, he loses. So he's gotten good at pedaling the car. There's no doubt about it. No one on earth could drive that car better than Sean. He's he's been in every bad situation you can be in in that yeah. car. And you know, the, and I can't seem to crash the motherfucker. The, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's I, anybody else that would want to drive that car. It's such a mix of feelings for me I because I think <laughs> every time you go to the starting line, I think to myself, just let him crash this fucking thing, me get too. it over with. But then That's I think, I think too. but then I'm like, then I realize what the car is and I'm like, man, if he crashes it though, he's going to die. And I don't really want him to die. <laughs> well, I wouldn't so be going fast enough to crash, you know, to die. I don't think probably. it would matter in that one. The center like, fuselage will like, be rolling within a minute. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure it'd be one of those weird things. Like, like if somebody bashes into you with a golf cart, like it's going to be a weird, like thousand ways to die type of video yeah, footage yeah. where a bar inside the car snaps from another snaps bar off, and just goes and there's through so your much fucking pressure face. Pressure on it from the fucking yeah. chassis twist and then it. Boom. Yeah. Or like you're, or you're strapped into the seat and it just like pretzels the seat and then the straps like rip your insides. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just one of those. Yeah. That car, I'm scared to death. People are going to go. What happened? Yeah. yeah. They're like, what? And anybody that's seen yeah. a car go, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, we figured that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, like it's going to be, you know, like, you know, it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have a neutral safety switch. So, I mean, he's going to hit the, oh, yeah, he's going to no, hit the button and it'll, it'll t -t -t -t -t -t into the golf cart or something. <laughs> and then he'll, then he'll just be in the hospital with like a neck brace. And I'll be like, I don't understand how that happened, you know? Yeah. Yep. So every time I think to myself, God, just let him wad that car up where it's not replaceable. That'd be the best thing for us right now. It would. But hey, then, then we'd hurry my new car. But I don't want him to be in it. Yeah. When it happens, if there's something, we've got to figure out Maybe a way for this. Maybe tornado or something. I mean, tornado season's coming up. I don't, he doesn't matter. He, Nothing would, everything, that the thing's like property every, would be every, gone but that car. Yeah, it's, it's like a cockroach. Pounds, it's not going to yep. fly Dude, off. he doesn't, he <laughs> Nuclear fallout, the murder. Yeah, Parking it outside isn't going <laughs> to help it. Dude, <laughs> that car is a cockroach. Yep. No matter you what happens. It, no matter what happens, that car is still going to be around. I've man. never seen a car shake so much and not tear it up. It, I mean, that thing it, should no, be it, fucking it tears junk. it up. But yeah, but the way well, you were shaking the, the other day at the it track. It flexes so much, God, though. It's not going to tear it up. Yeah. I've you know never I mean? seen anything shake like that. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's mean, we have to replace the wishbone every once in a while. Yeah. It's bad. It's really bad. And what's weird is that 
just when you're ready to give up on the car. And like, sometimes I think, okay, I'm going to do Sean a favor and I'm going to leave the gate open tonight. And then I'm going to, I'm going to hire somebody to take the car and bury it somewhere. And then I'm just going to go, my bad, man. I don't know. I'm sorry. I did this for your own good. No, and I'm not going to tell him. I'm not going to tell him because I don't want him to hate me. You know, I want him to hate me, but I'm just going to be like, I'm sorry, man. The murder Nova was stolen. Yeah, but but then you could be there for support. Talking about, look, look, man, let's, let's, let's not worry about that car anymore. Let's focus on your new car. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Come on, man. Let me see that. Sean's like, what's the fresh dirt in the backyard? Nah, don't worry about that. That's what I, uh, <laughs> that's, that's what yeah, yeah. we buried say, the car out back they left the the smart wire and the race pack yeah. here yeah you know and the turbos yeah. you know so, the and the transmission the fuck on the car and the transmission i really feel like i'd be doing it fair and sometimes i think like man there's gonna be a weird fire tonight and you know yeah. the murder nova didn't survive like i think to myself sometimes i'm just gonna do him a favor and get rid because i feel so terrible and he's so distraught sometimes and that car is his whole world and so yeah. And it's really tough to be his buddy when, when the car's not doing good. You know what I mean? Cause he's just like Eeyore walking around. You yeah, know, he walks no, in the shop and he's like, Hey, you know, <laughs> it's like, or, or I go, like, <sighs> yeah. He'll and walk Chief up always and, goes, what the fuck is wrong? And yeah. I'm like, what? I didn't even say nothing. Well, Cause we can be in a big group of people joking and having a good time. And Sean will walk up and go, <sighs> what's up? And everybody's guys? like, Oh <laughs> fuck, here we go. And it's like when Ross had a terrible deal, you know, on, on, on friends when he's just like, Oh, you know, yeah. and, it's like you want to go to lunch? No, thanks. <laughs> I'm not hungry, you know. And it's just, I'm on a diet, you know, or something. Yeah. It's always Debbie Downer, and it's it's like you want to go test Thursday at the track. Sure, I yeah, guess I could like go. That when we're on radials. I guess I could go shake around the track for a little while. I gotta you know? screw the windows back. But just in when it. you're about to like give up on the car, the car does something. It like it knows problems. that I'm fixing to fucking set it on fire, and so it'll go out there and go fast, or she'll promise her to win, and it's like. Then it's like, God damn it, how am I ever going to get rid of this fucking car if it keeps doing that? Like, last time we were ready to give up on it, we he but raced we put me. On it. Well, no, the last time we were ready to give up on it, he raced me. And, you know, I, I'm, no, I'm not shy about the fact that I can 60 foot. And, you know, and I let Sean know every chance I get that he can't 60 foot with yes. me. Yes. And well, then the, never the last time he raced me, I was like, you know, you better, you better be ready to try and go around my ass, you know, because you're not leaving on me. You know what I mean? And then out of fucking nowhere, Murder Nova puts a car and a half on me out of the hole. And it's like, and I'm sitting over there just laughing, going, you, the fucking Murder Nova, you know, like that yeah. son of a bitch. Showed yeah, up. but shortly after that, it shook and you came around <laughs> yeah. me. But it showed. Hey, but you know but what? there was a Even glimmer. after the race, I was stoked. That's what I'm saying. Because I was like, I got 60 I foot of chief. I don't care that yeah. I fucking lose to you. It doesn't, whenever we race each other, it doesn't matter. You know, I don't care. You know, of course I want to win. But well, if yeah, I don't win, and I'm gonna I rub it in. don't get down about it, yeah, you know, right. like I do everybody else. So I was stoked that, that the car left the way that it did. Yeah, you know, and I was frustrated. I didn't see you for, for 60 foot, yeah, you know, and, yeah, that and then, hurts. then I saw you. That hurts, buddy. And then, and then I saw you. you so, it, that, so that was tough for me because then it was like, God damn it, now he's got a glimmer of hope again in that fucking car. I'm never yeah. going to get him away from that fucking car. You know, it's like my, my three-year-old Corbin with his blanket. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just when you think he's going to give up on that blanket, and, you know, then it's like all of a sudden something happens to it, and he's he's got it, and he won't let go. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And it's like, ah, oh, we're never going to get rid of this thing. So it's uh it's tough uh, having my best friend in love with a cockroach. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? And I feel like the cockroach just treats him terrible. But, man, that car's you know? been my world for how long? You know? I yeah. mean, it's, it, it's going to be bittersweet when the new car's done. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be And I don't know sweet. if I will give two it's, shits about the new car. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, no, it's going to be sweet for everybody else, yeah. probably. I don't see how you give a shit about the car you I got. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. I've been in that fucking car so much. Trust me, man. Trust me. There's nobody on earth that will understand that more than me. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I feel like I don't, I'm going to cry right now thinking yeah. about yeah. getting rid of that car. Yeah, I'll cry with you, buddy. You know me. I cry at, I cry at fucking dog Yours food commercials. Yours will be tears of joy, though. <laughs> I cry at dog food commercials, man. I'm serious. I cry all the fucking time. I don't care. I'm a softie. I mean, I don't know what has happened over the years that's made me so soft, but whatever. Well, I normally don't have I'm a still, heart. I'm still so, hard. In, I'm, about shit like this. Yeah. You know? I'm still hard in the streets. I'm hard in the bed. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are nasty. Uh, So... So we got. We're gonna go try and make a few more hits at the track, and my then, old man bladder's uh, got me. Yeah, you're, I can't, I can't hold 
You're just gonna go with the bathroom. Go. He just the bathroom, man. I got to. He's he just, just gonna go to the bathroom. Just, I can't do it. He just stopped in the middle of the podcast to go to the bathroom. All right. Y'all know he's gonna go cry in the car. He is. Yep. He's not that, that's not a bathroom <laughs> break. That's so much bullshit. He's going to take a piss in I've the car. I've been doing this podcast with him for a long time now. Twenty seven episodes. He's never stopped in the middle to go to the bathroom. So that right there, he's crying in the bathroom right now. Yeah. He's full on he's in the woman's restroom, sitting down to pee, and he's <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Murder Nova. <laughs> He's got a picture of it in his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then like, yeah, he's yeah. Uh, he's gonna come back in here and he's gonna have allergies or something. You know, he's gonna be like, Stop, I don't know, there's something in my. It says damn my termites. Eye. There's something in my eye. <laughs> Leave me alone, guys. Stop he's, it. He's like fucking red on Friday. He's going to go cry in the car. If he comes in here and he looks like he was crying. Well, there's no doubt about bitch. it. You don't stop in the middle of a podcast to go to the bathroom. I've never seen him do it. No. And it's because we were bashing on the murder. No, but he's going. He's going to go cry in the bathroom right or now. Or he's in there complaining to Aaron. No, he doesn't complain to Aaron. No. Nah. No. Hey, how'd that work out? Hey. Everything come out? <laughs> yeah, they want him to get in your eye? <laughs> I'm going to have to get a new meth shack. Yeah, you okay now, buddy? Man. Did you? Did you? It's ha- the old man bladder, dude. Did you have it's, a good sesh? It's uh, it's getting bad. I I I should just piss on the floor right here with all this water. I mean, the roof it's is leaking in, in the mess shack. Oh, okay. I think we better change the subject before we cry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Any more than we already have. Uh, okay. Um, we are in full swing of the show. So season season eight. eight. So uh, which. Fuck you, haters. Season eight. Yeah. Season eight. Just saying. Just I saying. I had friends when this deal first started. There may be you know, something. And I told him, man, dude, if we could get 10 seasons. And he was, oh, ha, ha, ha. Dude, <laughs> I can remember when I on, came. We're on our way. He's like, man, did you see the show? I'm like, no, not really. He goes, well, we may get another season out of this deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, our first producer, Brian, I, we owe a lot to him because he, uh, he said the words to us that made us want to be so good at it. Like we wouldn't normally care, but when we said, Hey man, can we do a big fat burnout right here? And he's like, I don't care. Nobody's going to watch it anyway. Yep. Yeah. You know, it was like, it. It was like, like this, is, this is a one and done deal anyway. Yeah. Then it was like, Oh really? And then we, then we major leagued them. You know what I mean? Then it was like, yeah. we did them just like major league. You know, yeah, but we, that, that we shoved it down the their fucking throat. That's success. what I'm saying. We owe a lot you to him. Cause I mean, we, cause we, after that, we're like, fuck it. We're going to go ourselves. We're going to go all out. Yeah. So, and we did, and we're cycle eight now. Um, we are, so what is that? Like, uh, what's eight times 10? I mean, we're, we're 80. So, I mean, we're going to be going on 80 episodes here, you know? It's pretty badass. That's a pretty serious deal, right? I mean, we're For a bunch catch, of I think we're going to catch Ellen eventually. I think I have, uh, <laughs> I think I've recorded all, all of them. You know, how many episodes? I looked, did at, I looked at my DVR the other day, and there's 57 on there. Yeah. So then, season Cycle seven, seven still hasn't aired. After seven and, and eight, we're eight. gonna be over 80. Yes. That's awesome. How many? How many seasons did Friends get? Uh, too many. Yeah, I mean, I feel like more than a, you know, more than 100. They should. So I know that they all do the special 100 episodes. Episode. Hey, like yeah. that, you know. We're we're in the we're in the company of greatness here. Yeah. I mean, they're all rich and stuff, but you know. Yeah. But we got this. Yeah. Absolutely. But, we got. <laughs> but. We have this meth check. We got this nice place here, you know, yeah. with the and we don't owe the much fine on termites. <laughs> we owe much. We owe more than what it's worth, but we don't. We don't owe a lot. Yeah, and, and I like and we and, get a race car. You know, every day. it's character Absolutely. though. It's got bullet holes. I mean, this, this is you know, it this is, is where we're supposed cool. to be. I was, I was in the bathroom pissing just now, looking at the bullet holes. Yeah, you were pissing. Yeah, crying, sissy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Something was coming uh, out. leaking, leaking. <laughs> Uh oh, and our headlights uh, finally showed up for the chrome mod. So we are gonna awesome. we're gonna fix the They're headlights. We are badass. putting Sean, headlights. Sean, in. shut up. Sean. Shut up. Sean, Sean hates my headlights. These headlights are pretty badass. Awesome. They got Sean the turn signals built in them. Yep. Sean's gonna Sean's gonna rag on my headlights for like the disco I don't care. club. I don't disco club. Care. I'm gonna okay. sneak in here fucking one night when he's not here, and I'm gonna hook him up. Yeah. And I'm just gonna hook him up to something you <laughs> when know, he shows he up film all night. Fucking time, you know, like his boost controller. Or well, something. Tony, has to, <laughs> what's he's his so boost full control- of shit. I, I probably don't know how. I'd probably yeah. Have to he'd call have him to ask call him me, to and I'd it. have to walk him through it. <laughs> hey, you know? but you know that'd even be funnier if that he would walked be cool. me through hooking up his headlights. Yeah, whatever. Sean hates on my headlights. I don't care. Uh, so we're gonna fix the internet when we get headlights in that thing. The internet will be fixed. Oh God, what are they gonna bitch about now if we get headlights? You know, it's still they're gonna bitch that it's pro something. mod. Um, 
Well, I can't wait. It's going to have headlights. I don't care. It's going to be cool. Yeah. Then it's streetcar. It is streetcar. Right? Car. I mean, you've got headlights, taillights, tag, insurance. I can't wait to I put some bitch around. on the street. I mean, I drive it around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's streetcar, right? Yep. Streets. Streets. Um, we are going to be doing a live, or I'm going to be doing, uh, I don't know when Sean's going to do it. We're probably, Sean's probably going to do it uh, before the season premiere, April 25th, of the show we're not supposed to talk about. But on that day at like 11 ish, keep, keep looking at the Crow Facebook page. But on that day, I'm going to be doing a live question and answer with the Discovery Channel through the Discovery Channel, Street Outlaws, Pilgrim Studios, the whole deal. And, um, I'm just going to be sitting there, you know, filming me doing my normal shit here and answering all the questions that you guys may have. So I would like, this is my dream. Okay. I know there's going to be a lot of the same questions from a lot of the people that watch the show. Yeah. But I want to, I want my, our podcast people to show up. The tens yes. of listeners. I want the podcast people to wreck this live so question and the, answer. The same dumb well, question. Well, not just that. You know what it's going to be. Not just that, but I mean, like, you guys know me. I don't, I just hate people. I'm an alien. I don't feel like I, I'm a human. I don't feel like I do very well as a human anyway. And <laughs> I, uh, if it's all the same question from all the same type of viewer for a two hour fucking deal during a live question Keep and answer about the show. season premiere, I'm just going to get mad and say things I don't want to say. So, the things that could help is if our podcast members and our podcast listeners could show up and just wreck that whole party yeah. with questions about things that have been talked about on the podcast. All you know what I mean? Of them. Like, and now we can't, you guys, you, we can't make it obvious or else they'll shut us down because <laughs> we're really not supposed to be doing this anyway. Yeah. But what you can do is we can inside joke. So all my podcast listeners, they're, we're like a. I feel like we're a, more of a family. They're pretty you know I mean? badass. They're pretty, and it's they pretty, are. and we're pretty they close. Are. Like I, they're awesome, and the listeners are close, right? Where they're closer to us than the regular viewer of the show. Yep. So like when you see them in public, it's you know they're they're just so much better to deal with because for sure they're, they're easy to talk like to. Like. Yeah, because they well, know what we don't like. They they are they know us, and you know most of the people who watch the show think they know us, and so they think that they're our friends immediately when they meet us, and oh, they yeah. start, and we're just I like watch every show, yeah. and we're just like yeah, I know, chief, I know you don't like that guy, and I'm like you don't know shit, you would just watch the show, yeah. You know? But the podcast listeners, they you walk up it. and they'll kind of stand next to you, and they won't really fuck with you, and then they'll just be like. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm listener I'm, I'm, 14. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, you know? I and love that's it. The greatest or, thing ever. Or when they walk up and they see you, they'll stick their hand out, and then at the right at the end, they'll change it and they'll go fist bump and they'll look at you, kind of like, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's and like Fight Club. That's yep. what I want this this live question and answer with Discovery Channel because this isn't our deal. We didn't set this up. Um, you know us when we do live shit on Facebook, we're basically just trying to burn up other people's cars on the dyno. You know what I mean? So, uh, which we'll probably be doing that later with a. Uh, with a twin turbo vet. <laughs> uh, but I want our podcast listeners to show up and ask like secret cool society questions. questions. You know what I mean? Like inside joke podcast questions so that I want, I want to have a good time doing this and I want people to, and to know that our podcast is badass. You know what yes. I mean? So, so if you guys could do that and show up, man, that would be uh that would mean a lot to me. And then, because then every other question would be not the same when you're going to beat yeah. Kai Kelly. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, we need and, the podcast to grow too. Yeah, we well, need, I mean, I don't need, know that. I don't know that we need it to grow, man. I kind of like our little family. The listeners are better. You know, what I, mean? sure. I think sure. it's I, man, honestly. But the bigger it gets, the the more cool fans that we're going to yeah, have. Yeah, well, and I think that we don't know how big it really is, because man, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah. You know well, I, mean? I know everybody that I've met at the shows I've been. The number's never gone over 100. I've met listener <laughs> number 47. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number eight. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it's yeah. that's really cool. It is neat, you know. It's a yeah. neat deal that we got going here, you know. And uh, so, like, questions would be like, you know, uh, when are you going to air episode number three? You know what I mean? Like, that's questions that only our podcast listeners yeah. would know. Yeah. The infamous episode three that never made it and no one's ever heard <laughs> that, it, you know, that episode has everything in it that about – the stuff we're not allowed to talk about. And yeah. that's the, if you could ever hear that episode, that would, you that's know, the, well, I mean, that's the one that got us shut down. Yeah. That's the key episode. You know, that's there's the, that's there's the one that things, they pulled the plug. There's things on that episode that no one will ever hear. It's like area 51. So yeah. like all the, in the inside jokes about McDougal and versus goad and all that stuff from the podcast. Like let's, if you guys could show up and wreck that party, that'd be pretty cool. So I have look seen for it. People, like though say I've heard episode three. Yeah. And hey, you know, 
that's a fan they, from if way they've back. heard yeah. episode three they're the real deal you know what i mean so or or they're uh that they're just as full of shit as we are <laughs> uh so anyway uh but yeah the mcdougall versus goat thing. so the live question and answer is uh, going to be at like 11 ish a.m april 25th keep a look on i don't really know for the time that's kind of what we're guessing right now 11 is a little early for me i don't really want to wake up that early every day but whatever um that the show comes on april 25th uh, monday nights again on discovery channel i think it's eight o'clock central right yep 9 p.m eastern yep. okay so uh and we have to show that we're still the ogs of this situation so we need all of our listeners we need all of our listeners to watch it post about it on facebook get everybody in you know instagram it whatever you gotta do get people talking about the 405 coming back to television because I've seen what you guys say about all the other shows on TV right now. I've seen what you say. We've realized that, you know, it's terrible. So if you really like us and want to see us on TV, you know, man, let's talk about it, be about it, you know, post it everywhere, and let's show them why the real is what you want. You know what I mean? Like why it's why it pays to be real in reality. So, uh, but check it out anyway. And then I'm, a, I'm, I'm probably going to be on there. I'll probably have some good questions. Yeah, uh, what kind definitely. of questions would you ask? I don't know. But you're going to be, wait a minute, you're going to be on there with me or you're going to be asking me questions? No, no, I'll probably be asking you questions. Oh, God. I got some inside stuff that I could ask. (laughs) Yeah, I bet you do, motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) I could probably come up with some good inside stuff. Really uncomfortable questions. He'd probably uh, just skim right over my question. Yeah, Sean M. Let's get away. Yeah. Yeah. And what's funny is this is going to be um, involved with discovery channel so they're going to be in the mix of it here they're going to be sharing on their stuff getting people to to go ask questions and then um we're also going to be giving away some stuff we're going to do a prize pack giveaway stuff on uh, merchandise from here in the shop and um you know we're, we're going to give that stuff away to show that the season premiere needs to be huge and uh so you know get ready to win that shit let them know you know let them know you want to win a podcast shirt let them know you want to win a chief of sean show shirt you yeah. know like that kind of stuff means a lot to us and um, even if they don't get it, we do. So Absolutely. rock and roll on that. And we'll, we'll try and keep this deal going. And I'm going to try harder to do this more often. It's, uh, I mean, it's tough. To it's really what? tough. This podcast thing. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, it's a good time. We should do it more. Um, it's just, it's really hard for us with the schedules and stuff. Yeah, right? and yeah. We don't sleep much and you know, got whatever. a race car. Yeah. And you can't really come to work naked. You know, so you got to get dressed. I mean, if you, you come did, you'd here. probably really be in kills, here by yourself. That kills a lot of time. Well, I've, I'm never anywhere naked by myself. And if it, I am, it ain't for long. Okay. <laughs> uh, Glad we cleared that up. Yep. <laughs> and it's not even my fault. It's I good to know. Few, <laughs> I, I could come up with a few questions right there. Oh, here we go. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, you know, real listeners going to call in and say, uh, when are you going to quit the show and just start doing a podcast full time? Yeah, hey, yeah. you know, hey. The yeah. real hey, listeners happens, will. We may have time to do, you know, two a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or at least do the one we're supposed. But you know to what? Week. You're still ra- you'll, you'll still race. You know, race at least car. We no won't matter be what. as late as we yeah, usually yeah. are. Well, <laughs> I'm still frustrated with the McDougal versus Goad thing. We promised a race. It's, it hasn't happened. Goad has completely given up. Um, given up the uh, internet. the internet. He's given up um, racing McDougal. He doesn't want anything to do with him. He's completely against everything now. He's he's taken this and decided he doesn't want to be a part of that racing he with him he could have made it something really big it could have been something himself. bigger i think that mcdougall trolled him a little too hard and and yeah. james is uh reaper is he's old school and he doesn't know how to uh take that stuff you know what i mean i don't know if you call it sensitive because he's old school like they just he's from a different planet or whatever you know like yeah. he's he's <laughs> yeah. you know he's from a different different area he's from something where that trolling means more to him than it does to mcdougall yeah. so i mean they're both good dudes and it's I've, just I feel yeah. like they hate each other, you know, though, you know. They just can't so, get along. No, they can't. And I'm really upset that we didn't get a race with them, too. So yes. um, podcast listeners need to uh, take this for what it is. We're not done trying. We're hoping we're going to make that happen still. We're still working on a race between McDougal versus Goad. If we can't make that race happen, though, uh, we need to – tell them how disappointed we are <laughs> so uh we need to do something at least wrap it up whatever yeah. we got to do we need to wrap it up and get rid of it so that it's gone forever uh if they're not going to race it's kind of frustrating because the very first call out and locked in race on our show never happened and that yeah. that's disappointing it was locked in though that's disappointing you know so 
Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and make that happen. Um, May sixth and seventh, American Outlaws Live. It's gonna yes. be Venice, Texas. I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna shake the fuck out of my car. <laughs> Seventy five thousand to win. That's huge. Saturday. Yes. What is it? Fifteen thousand to win Friday. Is it okay? I was thinking twenty. For and and I then don't, the person, the the winner. Yeah. This, well, the winner and the runner up of Friday night's race gets to race with us on Saturday, right? right? That's a you're gonna a, have a, a race your way. Saturday in. is gonna be thirty two of the baddest street no prep dudes you've ever witnessed in person in yeah, the I mean, same place. Name and them, and they're gonna be, be they're gonna be battling for seventy five thousand dollars. You know, Chief Sean. Um, there you go. Basically, there you go. <laughs> Jesus That's Christ. enough to show up right I there. Mean, the whole list from the 405, the whole top 10 list is yes. going to be there. Even guys that aren't on the list anymore are going to be there. Kai Kelly is going to be there. I mean, uh, John Doe is going to be there. Yeah. Birdman's going to be there. You I'll know, be there. David Bird. Yeah, Jones. Jeff Lutz is going to be racing Jeff, in that deal, and he yeah. will be a contender. Jeff Lutz with Mad Max is going to be racing in that deal. So any of the biggest name guys that you can think of that you want to see race are going to be battling out for $75,000. Dude, did you know that? I was trolling around on the uh, group chat that we have with some of the big pro line guys, and Kevin Fiscus, yeah, he's is coming, coming, yeah, with the pro mod. I heard that right now. He right? is I mean, Fiscus yeah. Kluger pro yes. mod is yes, coming for the, the pro mod. He he he's gonna. He told me straight up. I mean, he he's said he's testing said, his own mix right now. Yeah, he's like he's getting serious. He's okay. bringing. No, the, no, he said he said he's going for the ninety grand. He says he's going for the 15 Friday night yeah, and the 75 race, Saturday. He's got to race the race your way in. Yeah, he's got to get into the race. He's got to win Friday to get in Saturday. And he's already yeah. said he'll be racing with us on Saturday. He's So, testing. in other words, he's going to win that deal on Friday. I mean, I think he's testing this week Yeah, in no, Orlando he, or somewhere, no, right? I, I heard that uh, he was trying to get in us. To let yeah, us there. I heard the same thing. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, this, he's, he's serious. This is a and big deal. And when you deal. get a guy like them... That whole that whole group, they're fucking for real. I mean, this is a big deal. This is going to be the biggest race ever. I mean, no doubt about it. Uh, next week, next time on the podcast, we're going to have uh, the guy, the originators of the American Outlaws Live, the guys who are putting up all this ridiculous money, the guys to, who made it happen, know, the guys who are making it happen. We're going to have them on the show. Um, they're going to give us some insight as to what exactly is going to happen. If you have any questions for those guys, post them up on the Chief and Sean Facebook page so that we can ask them when they get here or when they get on the phone or get here, whatever they're going to yeah. do. And um, we're going to, you know, Farm Truck and Asian, I heard, are going to be there doing crazy shit all weekend. Yes. I heard they're going to be, like, picking cars out of the parking lot to race. So, like, if you go, bring your car. Yeah, it's going to be an all-out you know I mean? show. Like, I've, well, I've been be cool. told that you can purchase a ticket, an extra ticket to race Farm Truck and Asian, and then they'll pick out of a pool of cars yeah. or a pond, if like you a will. Pond. <laughs> yeah. And they'll fish. I mean, they're going to fish. So it's like the damn television show in person. You know what I mean? I mean you're going to get farm trucking agents doing their like shit. It's going to be just like the show. I mean, what I heard. That, this is going to be the biggest thing to ever hit drag racing. I, I, I truly believe that. And It's, um, it's going to be the next best thing to coming out on film night and watching. Oh, it'll be us. better than yeah. film night. Yeah. Film night sucks. It takes forever to get four races off. It's going to yeah. be better than watching the show on your couch. You know, you're going to get yeah. to watch it in person. And uh, we're going to be there all weekend. Um, we'll have all the merchandise there. We'll have the cars there. We're going to be racing. We're going to be signing. We'll be taking pictures. We'll be doing the whole deal. Yep. Um, if you if you can, do whatever you can to get to this race because you're not going to want to miss this for sure. It's And the other thing is, I'm not supposed to say this. It's all right. We're not supposed to talk about this. That's all right. But when has that stopped us before? I have been told uh -oh. Uh -oh. that that we're gonna. This is going to be filmed for Live. for the for the show street we're Owls. not supposed to talk about. You're already saying it. So for street, yeah. I mean, this is going to be filmed. This is going to be on the Discovery Channel. That's just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing that out there. If you show up, be prepared to be on television, drunk and disorderly, acting like an idiot. You Don't be I mean? trolling, and you know and <laughs> Think about all the guys that are going to be out there to race farm truck and Asian with their cars. They're going to get to be on the sh like the show that yeah. like that's just in, in. I want to do that. You want to get on TV? I think you I'm and a, your buddies I, take your I shirts wanna... off and write something on your chest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that right there, man. That's fucking guaranteed, man. Yeah. Get it on there.
I mean, I'm just saying, you know, uh, this is going to be on the show. I I mean, I've been told there's no way that it's going to be able to just be one episode. It's going to have to be yes. a big it's two hour huge. special. Like, yeah. It's going to be a big fucking deal. I just know that. And uh, next week we're going to, or next episode, we're going to have the guy, next next podcast, we're going to have the guys um, from the American Outlaws Live to talk about it with us. Let us know what exactly is going to happen, where they came up with all this ridiculous money, and yeah. why they just feel like giving it to me, you know, yeah. when I win. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's generous. It's generous. generous. Jeff, Jeff Lutz is over here rolling his eyes. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I don't know why. We're in the finals. Yes, for a reason. Yeah, Jeff's no. here for a reason. I know, why Jeff's here. Oh. I know why Jeff's here. He's oh, here to yeah. test and get ready for the May race yep. to kick all of our asses. The yep. same reason that we're here to yep. test and get ready He's for the May race. He's over there going, damn, Sean, I wish you could get this thing figured out. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that really I know one car down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we knew that when he pulled in the parking lot in his rig, and I was like, what you got in there? And he's like, oh, just the Mad Max car. No yeah. big deal. Yeah. No yeah. big deal. Do yeah. a little street racing while I'm out here. Yeah, you know, you never yeah. know. Something could pop off. Something yeah. could pop off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was bringing the rig anyway. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, I sleep in the yeah. sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 80-foot thing behind it, though, it yeah. just houses the cars. Well, I got a smart yeah. car. The car's yeah. up in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you can get to this race, I would suggest doing it. And it's if you have one you don't want to miss. Yeah. And if you, have a, if you have a street car, you know, that. You want to get you one tangled yeah, farm truck and Asian farm truck. I mean, you never know, dude. They they could pick you. Bring that motherfucker out. Get on the show. You know what I mean? Get I mean, your ass cool waxed that? by a big cool old pickup truck. If your kids got to watch you beat farm truck on TV, you know, on the show that you watched with your kids. I mean, hey, I'm just saying that could be something <laughs> cool. Makes me want to bring my little pickup out there to race farm truck and Asian. Yeah, because my kids would freak out if I got to race them. <laughs> you know, I might do that. I might just put the fake name on there. Yep. Just put like. Juan. <laughs> Ellis. Juan. <laughs> Ellis Juan. <laughs> Ellis Juan. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> uh, anything else you guys want to talk about? I if not, I need to go put bearings back. We need to race car. Uh, That's what we need to do. Because right now yeah. I'm only getting four passes before I have to put bearings in it. So I got to figure Oof. out why I'm starving this motor for oil and it's not happy. I don't think the motor likes the new car either. I don't know what the deal is, but. They just haven't bonded yet. They're not getting along. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like putting the heart from your dying wife in your rebound chick's chest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rebound it's, chick's it's chest. Just, it's that just is a be... fucked up view right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> love you, honey. You know, hey, yeah. I mean, you know, my first love yeah. uh, is gone, but I took her heart and I shoved it in the, re in the new chick's chest. Like, Hey, yeah. that's kind of a weird deal. I just don't know that that's, they're it's not really accepting each other yet. They're not really okay with that yet. You know? So, <laughs> Uh, you know, they you say are, that you are not right. Your first love will never die, That's but right. true love can bury it alive. So if, <laughs> you know, if we can figure out a way for me to fall in love with this goddamn new car, this might work. It'll work. It'll work. I for sure. So. I really do hope so. Uh, I just got to make memories with it. That's all. Yeah. Once I put that bitch on the street, everything. I, I think once you, you start fucking street, people, up. start straight yeah. racing it, start, start kicking some people's ass on the street. Cause. I mean, I get asked that question so many fucking times a day. I get tired of hearing it. I mean, you think the crow mod is going to be fast? Motherfucker, look it's, at it. It's <laughs> got no other option By accident, but to be fast. fast. He mean, can fuck up and still outrun probably pretty much any car. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's got no option but to be fast. And hell, we never even really drag raced the old car as much as you're trying to drag, you know, at the track. Right, yeah. I mean, goddamn, mean, every time you hit the street, it's like the fucking light shows fast. up and it's like, oh. Yeah, yeah things fast true. yeah you know? hopefully this car will be you know i i, I don't know maybe I'll, hopefully i fall in love with it but it's just the well, memories I mean, it's like, the memories like my like my dad used to always tell me you marry for love the first time the second time you marry for money so hmm. you know hmm. you loved your first car the second one's gonna get the job done yeah right now that it, it married for money because <laughs> i've given it all my money so right now i'm getting duped here what happens the third time? I don't know. <laughs> You're just fucked. You marry for for, for fuck then. I should ask my dad. You he won't marry again. And he didn't marry for money yet. Yeah. Oh, well. So, so there's I, a lot to be said about that. So I don't lie. Even, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So I, I don't know. If <laughs> Thanks, should, Dad. I don't know if we should listen to him then. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I'm going to go back there and see if I can't figure out how to fucking get my shit to quit chewing the bearings out of it. Uh, and then the film crew will be here in, oh, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, about one. Life. And uh, 
I'm going to be filming till 5 a.m. probably. So, um, I got a lot of scaling and aligning to do. And then I tomorrow, I got to do the same thing all over again. Yay. Mm -hmm. But we but get to test Thursday. At some point this week, if I can keep the bearings in that piece of crap, it's we're going to hit the street. I can't wait. God damn, I can't wait. I just want to put headlights in it and post it on Instagram so people leave me alone. Oh, God. The, the, the, the headlight question. Should we just, thank Tony? Who's Red Tony? Line, Red Line Lymtronics. Yeah, Tony. For the headlights. Oh, with sweet headlights? Tony. Easy Sean. Easy, Sean. Easy Sean. Sorry. Easy Sorry. bud. Sorry. Oh, yeah. One more thing I want to say. <laughs> so, uh, there's a few things that can really send me into a dimension of pissed off that I pal. cannot return from. I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there. The word pal. Pal. The word bud. <laughs> Those two words are are are just instant. I hate you. Yeah, yeah. Because when friend you, is pretty bad too. Friend, man, if you, well, if you say it like listen, um, friend. If you say it like Mike G says it, I like it. How about like Mike G says friend? friend. Like when you say hey friend, then it's cool. I like that. Yeah, that or if you say hey friend, you know, like friend, like I like yeah, that. If, if somebody who's not really your but if friend, you say listen, calls you a friend? if you say listen, friend, then yeah. I go whoa, whoa, whoa. So <laughs> friend, pal, buddy. Though, those are the, those are equal to asshole yes. or dickhead because yes. you can change that word out with dickhead. So hey, if somebody goes, face. if somebody yeah. goes, hey pal, it might I like be, that one. hey dickhead, you know what I mean? Or hey buddy, hey dickhead, you <laughs> know it's just hey asshole, it's the same thing. And when people say easy bud, yeah, easy bud, oh buddy, I can, I can get <laughs> oh, oh I can get mad, yeah, I can get mad quick, and they don't mean it wrong. It's just it's the way that they talk. Well, this new producer that we have, um. Bless his little heart. He we'll just call him PB. We'll, yeah. call, him, we'll call him uh Paul. We'll just call him Paul. Okay. So uh That'll hit it right on the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh don't you got another game somewhere, he, pal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I know I, I know what you're talking about. But you got a game around here going on, pal? So you got that fucking toothpick just fucking <laughs> He gets his stock. <laughs> <laughs> he turns and fucking puts it. <laughs> he has Jeff his Lutz. beer bottle yeah, in his Jeff finger. Jeff gets yeah. us. Yeah. Jeff gets oh, us. I love it. Yeah. So, I fucking hate you guys. So those words, those words kind of can tick me off. And uh, there was a moment there with the new producer where um, he basically accused me of snitching or ratting. Yeah. Dropping dimes. Dropping dimes. And I can promise you, I don't drop dimes. I don't drop dimes for no reason yeah. ever. My dad, if he ever found out I dropped dimes on anyone, Get he would gut beat. me because yeah. that's part of his religion at the fellowship that he belonged to for all those years. Yeah, was you don't drop you don't dimes. drop dime on people. No, man. you don't. So, so he kind of threatened me with this. You know, hey man, you you know you you drop you told somebody something you weren't supposed to tell anybody. I said, and uh, what? And I was like, I was sitting there looking at it. I was like, what is he talking about? And then talking he screenshotted the picture of what was supposed to be accusing me of it and sent it to me. And then he puts after that. And it did not, it did not admit me of guilt in any way, shape, or form. You know what I mean? If anything, he's just, he was, he was really just grabbing for shit at this point, trying to get me to tell on myself or something I didn't do. Right. And then he screenshots it and sends it to me. And then he puts below, he puts, no bueno, amigo. Oh, shit. Those are fighting words. <laughs> no bueno, amigo. That's no good, friend. <laughs> no, I know it's... That's, <laughs> <laughs> that is no good, that's friend. That's fucked up. <laughs> and, you we know, all know what that means. We yeah, all yeah. know what that means, you know? So uh, I sent him a very nice reply back uh, that consisted of two words. Yes. Uh, fuck you. Yep. And that was it. And I don't. Because you knew you didn't drop dime on nobody. Well, no. And I also knew what no bueno amigo means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That means, that means, you know. It's going down. You, you know, you fucked up, you asshole. You ratted, asshole. Yeah. You know, no bueno amigo. So then I sent one back. It says, you just called me a lot. You, you, you called me a fucking snitch. And you're a liar. You're a liar, and you called me a snitch, and then I put back, no bueno, and then I put in capital letters, amigo, because that's no bueno. That's no good, friend. No. That's no good, Listen, pal. Listen, pal. Listen, pal. You don't fucking call me a snitch. <laughs> you don't call me a snitch, bud. 
Yeah. You know, bud. Easy, easy bud. <laughs> yeah, so you're calling them pal. all of it. Easy, listen listen here, friend, pal. pal, bud. Yeah. I'm not even sure I like, even though my nickname is Chief, I'm not even sure I like it when old people use that. When yeah. they're like, hey, Chief. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa, fuck you. you know? <laughs> or bub, you know? You fucking with me right now? <laughs> listen, bub, you know? No, fuck all that. Yeah. Fuck that. If you don't know my fucking name, keep that shit to yourself. There was a guy out here or the stand other day up and didn't just say, know that just stand up and say dickhead. Justin and Sean were two different people. Or Chief and Justin. This guy thought it was two different people. It is. Yeah. It kind of is. Yeah. It kind of is. Yeah. If you really Big know. Fan. I've seen Chief get mad before whenever somebody oh, who yeah. he has no idea who it is tries yep. to call him Justin. Yeah. Man, that's just different, you know? Like, yeah. You, these Don't call if me Justin. If you're just a fan like, what? and you know him from fucking a TV show, then you know Chief. You yeah. don't know fucking Justin. You don't yeah. want to know Justin, most likely. Justin's not a very good person. You'd probably be disappointed. You'd, you'd be extremely disappointed. Yeah. I don't want to disappoint anybody. <laughs> and I don't want to feel like that um, that I should be embarrassed of Justin because Justin's disappointing. But, I, I'm, but, I'm, <laughs> but I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay with who I am. I, I yeah. know what I am, and yeah. I'm okay with I've accepted that, which is why I choose to be chief on television and not yeah. Justin because, you, you know, Justin wouldn't make it very far in television. So uh, just don't don't act like you want to know justin or you know who justin is because you probably don't yeah because then we get the shit like oh this tv show's gone to your head you're an asshole now oh no he was an we asshole before yeah well yeah the they show. say that shit all the time don't change you're gonna let tv change you no no no no no i would have told you to fuck off all the times so yeah pal. every time pal. four years ago buddy yeah. but fuck off pal bud fuck off <laughs> Fuck off, friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not your hey, friend. friend. Buddy. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. So anyway, uh, so if you see me, um, and you you call me pal or bud or amigo, yeah. Unless you are using amigo as a term of endearment because you don't speak the language that we yes. frequently use around here, you know, I'm gonna think you're calling me an asshole. Yep. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know why it's like that, but it's like that. And uh, this this new producer has effectively he's a, he's really gotten he's he's touched on some nerve there, you know. And the old the other producer that was here last year, he used Bud a lot. Yeah, and I told him. I yeah, was like, hey man, don't don't call me Bud ever yeah. again. You use man. There's nothing wrong with man. Hey no, man. I had to, I had to, Yeah, hey man. That's or, fine. Hey man. Or hey chief. I I was gonna <laughs> say chief. <laughs> or big, you know, I mean, like dick face. Hey, fuck yeah. face. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or yeah, hey, fuck face, yeah. or you know, hey, fucking oi, fuck, oi. Oi. <laughs> fuck face. Oi, <laughs> Australians are so fucking awesome. Oh, that's oh my god, I got stories about Australia. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, we're gonna go race car. Jeff, let's thank you for being here and oh, yeah. uh, and helping us fuck these cars up. Yeah. And we're gonna be on the streets doing our thing. Yeah, soon. I, I, I do want to say thanks to the lady who sent the. Uh, what were those, Phantom? I'm not sure if any everybody here got some. I know I ate a lot of them, and I left some up here. The fruity pebble rice krispies. Yeah, no I didn't, shit. I didn't get any. Wow. I didn't get any. Hey, they were on I didn't fucking get any. point, man. I bet hey, they were. She put a little note in there that on said, "I'm point. sorry, I used too much marshmallow." No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It was fucking perfect. Oh, y'all ate the rest of them. Yeah, I bet there was something hey, involved. What'd you have? They were, hey, they were amazing. There was probably. Would you have a sack lunch? Some stench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a sack lunch. A little stench and some. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Looking for that skunk. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but vegetables for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyways, thank we're you. out. Uh, if we get another chance to do one of these sooner than next week, we will to make up for the time in between. If we do, we're going to do a, uh, we'll do a letters, uh, a fan letter session. That's always fun. And don't count on it. Uh, I'm sure Jeff Lutz will still be here. So he'll Might be, be uh, here. So anyway, see you guys some other, yeah, uh, later Tuesday. Bye. We're just, I mean, you know, fuck it. I'll just say Tuesday. If I don't make it, I don't make it Tuesday. We'll do another one. See you. American later. outlaws live May 6th and 7th. Come see us. Peace. Bye.